Pagination can occur when we have a website with many pages. It can also occur when we have a list with many items, and these items are broken down by pages. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle lists that have pagination. I'm Marco Cruz, and you're watching Automate Now. Let's dive in. And here we are on the Soundbox page at AutomateNow.io. The category that we're going to look at today is Tables. So we're going to click on Tables here. And this is going to show us a couple of tables. The first one is a simple table. In a previous video, I showed you how to work with this simple table. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with this table here. This table here lists countries by population. And it has a lot going on compared to this one up here. For example, we can select how many entries to be shown at once by choosing from this dropdown. We can also search for a specific country here by entering the name of the country in the search field. We can also sort by clicking on these columns here. And we can navigate different pages here by clicking on these buttons here, Previous and Next. The scenario that we're going to implement today is to look for a specific country. Let's say that we want to know the population for the United Kingdom. The question we need to ask is how would a human do this if we didn't have the option to list all the countries at once and we didn't have the option to search by a specific country. So the obvious thing to do would be to sort the countries by the name of the country. So we would click here. And now we have the countries listed in alphabetical order. We're looking for the United Kingdom. Notice that it is not listed on the first page. So we're going to need to click Next here. So let's click Next. And we still don't see the United Kingdom listed here. We're going to click Next one more time. And finally, we find the United Kingdom here. And we see the population is 67.9 million. Now let's assume that we reached the end of the list and we didn't find the country that we're looking for. We will need to take this into account in our test. And one way we would do this is by looking at this next button here. Notice that the next button is disabled, meaning that there are no more countries on this list. At this point, we can say that we didn't find the country and we can throw an error or make some type of assertion. All right, so we have enough information to start writing our test. We said that the first thing we were going to do was to sort the countries in alphabetical order. So we're going to need to click on this column here that says country. Let's go to our test. We already have a page object for the tables page. So we're going to go ahead and add a new method here called sort by country. And all this is going to do is to click on that column that says country. I already have the locator for that column listed here. So we're going to call a method from the base page class called click. And this requires the locator. So we're going to pass country sort. So this method is going to take care of sorting the countries in alphabetical order. Next, we're going to write the method that is going to take care of getting the information that we're looking for. In this case, we want to get the population for a given country. So let's go ahead and write that method. We're going to call it get population. This is going to return a string, which will be the population for that given country. It's also going to take a parameter for the name of the country that we need. And let us go back to the application for a moment. Once we land on this tables page, we're going to find the table in this state, which is going to list the countries from 1 to 10. The first thing that we're going to do is to click on this button here to list it in alphabetical order. Next, we're going to see if the country that we're looking for is listed on this first page. If it is not listed on the first page, we're going to click Next until we find the country or until the next button is no longer available. Let's begin by setting a Boolean variable. We're going to call this one found country and we're going to set it to false. Next, we're going to use a while loop. The condition will be exclamation mark found country. So this is saying while country found is equal to false, then do the following. Now we're going to look at the table and see if the country is listed on that first page. We're going to do that by creating a list of web elements and using the find elements method. Okay, so here we have our list. This list is called country listed on current page. And notice that we're calling driver that find elements. And here we're passing this locator. This is going to look at the table. The name of the table is table press dash one. Then it's going to look at the column called country. So it's going to look at this column right here. It's going to go down the list looking at all the countries under this column here called country. If this happens to find the country that we're looking for, which is this one here, then this list will contain at least one element. Next, we're going to create another list. And this list is also a list of web elements. And in this case, we're checking to see if the next button is disabled or not. So remember, we're going to look at the list here. If we don't find the country, we're going to click Next. 
If we don't see the country here, we're going to click next once again. If we still don't find the country, we're going to keep checking the next button. If the next button is disabled, then that tells us that there are no more countries. And we need to let our test know that. We need to find the locator for when the button is disabled. So let's go back to the application. And here we see that the button is disabled. So let's go ahead and right click this and inspect it. And here we could use this class attribute. Notice that when the button is disabled, we see this other class being added called disabled. So we're going to use this. So let's go up here and set that locator. All right, so now that we have these two lists, we're going to go ahead and start using some if statements. And the first statement is going to say, if the country is found on the current page, then we need to change this flag from false to true. And here we're going to say country listed on current page dot size is greater than zero. And we're going to say found country is equal to true. This is this list up here. This is the one that checks to see if the country is listed on the current page. If it is listed there, then this list will not be zero. It will contain at least one element, which will set this condition to true. And this statement will be executed. But what happens if the country is not listed on the current page? Then we need to check to see if the next button is enabled to go to the next page. And here we say else if disabled next button dot size is equal to zero, meaning that the next button is not disabled. If it is not disabled, we're going to go in here and say click and we're going to say next button. And this is the locator for when the next button is not disabled. All right, so going back to this method here, now we have checked the current page and then when we don't find the country, we click the next button. But what happens when the next button is not enabled anymore? Then we need another statement here called else. And in this case, we're just going to return negative one, meaning that we didn't find the country. Notice that this loop will continue to iterate as long as this country found value is set to false. But there will be at least one case in which we will find the country. So this will cause our code to break out of this loop and we need to return the country's population. And we're going to do that down here outside of the while loop. And here we're going to call a method from the base page class, which is called get text. And all we need to pass is the locator. So in this case, we're going to look at this column here called country. Once we find this country, we need to look at this value here in this other column. Let's see how we're going to do that. So what is this XPath doing here? First, we're finding the column which contains the country. That's what this table data is. Next, we're using this following sibling. The following sibling is going to refer to the next table data. So in this case, we're finding the country and then we call following sibling, which would mean is this item here. And that's how we're able to retrieve the information from this item. Before we move on to run our test, let's do a quick review of what this get population method is doing. First, we have this Boolean here and we're using this Boolean to control this while loop. Notice that this is initialized with false and the while loop is saying, while this is false, then continue to look for the country. And here, the first thing that we have is this list of web elements and we're checking to see if the current page contains the country that we're looking for. We're also checking for the next button to see if it is disabled. And then we have this if statements down here. This first one is basically saying, if we find the country on the current page, then change the country found value to true. And this will cause us to break out of this while loop and we'll go down here and return that country's population. If the country is not found on the current page, then it will go to this next statement down here. And this statement is checking to see if the next button is enabled or not. Remember that when we get to the end of the list, the button is disabled. So if it is not disabled, then we're going to click on the next button. But at some point, we're going to get to the end of the list. And if we still haven't found the country and this button is disabled, then we need to return something. And in this case, we're going to say negative one. This is the value that we're going to return whenever we don't find the country that we're looking for. Now let's go ahead and write the test. This test is going to be called test table pagination. Since the first thing that we need to do is to click on this tables category, that's the first line of code that we're going to put in our test. Next, we need to sort the countries in alphabetical order. And we're going to say tables dot sort by country. Then we're going to create a string that's going to contain the population for the given country. We want the population of the United Kingdom. So we're going to say population UK. And this will be equal to tables dot get population. And we're going to pass United Kingdom. So let's go back here for a minute. Go to tables. 
and we're going to click next next and here we find the united kingdom this is the one that we want next we need to make an assertion because this value is either going to contain the population or it is going to contain negative one whenever we don't find the country and we're going to say assert not equals the first value will be population uk comma negative one so we're checking to make sure that this population uk does not equal negative one if it does, then we're going to say that the country was not found on the list. Lastly, we're going to print to the console the population of the country if we do find it. Let me go ahead and fix this typo here. Now we're ready to run this test. Now it's clicking tables. Then we have sorted the countries in alphabetical order. Now we're checking the first page to see if it's listed on the first page. Since it is not listed and it clicks next, it is still not listed on this page, so it's going to click next again. And there, we found the country. If we look at the console output, we see the population of the United Kingdom is 67.9 million. And that is exactly what we expected to find, 67.9. Now, let's make this test fail. Let's put in a country that does not exist on the list. I'm going to enter here, Iceland. And then I'm going to run this test. And just as we expected, the test failed. If we scroll down here, we're going to see an assertion error. Country was not found on the list. Here is your homework for today. Try to refactor this method. Instead of searching for a country using the method that we just implemented, try searching for the country by entering the name of the country in this field here. So we could say United Kingdom. And then we could retrieve the information this way. If you enter a country here that does not exist, then you're going to get this text here and you will need to validate that. As you work with Selenium, you're sure to come across pagination in the list. This video is going to be very helpful for you in the future. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.